I'd say I started off with football. Um, I'm from Derbyshire area, so there's not much rugby league played there. But my dad used to play um, a bit of rugby league when he was younger because he's from Manchester away. Uh, and I, so I just went to, I started playing rugby union when I was about 12. And then at the same time, I went to Nottingham Outlaws Rugby League just for some training and, and stuff, just for fitness really. And then luckily one of the guys, the head coach there, he knew um, the head of youth at Castleford. So he said, oh, do you want to go up for a session? And then I went up um, and then I ended up basically doing uh, the scholarship then. He, he picked me up after that. So then I went to the scholarship and then just carried on through, through the academy at Castleford and through first team. I'd say I um, I was a bit behind some of the lads because I'd only I'd only played rugby union so and even then I'd started at 12 so I'd say like some stuff I was a bit behind on but I think I picked it up quite quickly um, and obviously just developed through through CAS over the years and ended up uh, not doing too bad. I don't know I think just the the sort of the fast pace, like the toughness, the, mainly the fast pace and not, like I preferred it to rugby uh, union just to play, um, just because yeah the fast pace, the, the contacts, like that sort of side of it, that's what I just enjoyed, I enjoyed it more. Well I played England under 16s um, once as well, and that, so that was high at the time, but then I'd say, yeah, my Super League debut has probably been my, my high point up to now. What do you remember, obviously, in um, odd times with, with no sort of crowds and things like that, but how much did you, you know, were you still able to enjoy it as much for, to despite everything that was going on? To be fair, the, on my debut, that was 2019, so, we'd not, so we actually had crowds, I think. Yeah, it was against Catalan, um, over at Catalan as well, so it was quite a, I was quite nervous for that. It was quite a big, a big thing, but... I enjoyed it, all the lads helped me out and that and yeah, it was just it was just good to make my debut. My main aim was obviously it's obviously to just get, get more game time consistently and hopefully hopefully make the team um, week in, week out really and try and add to the add to the squad, um, try and develop and yeah, mainly add to the squad and try and play more consistently. Uh, no, to be fair, I, I, I had to live at Castleford for the past four years, away from my, my family and stuff, so I'm sort of used to that, that sort of thing, so it's, it's been quite an easy transition. I know a few of the lads here, so and all the lads that I, I didn't know, they've all, they've all welcomed me in, so yeah, I've enjoyed it up to now. And what exploring have you done, where have you discovered, what's your, uh, what's your favourite forms? Um, to be fair, because of training stuff, I've been quite busy, so I haven't really done too much, but I've walked into town a few times and walked down to Quayside and had a coffee with a few of the lads and stuff. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of more of Newcastle.